Alright, welcome back guys and back into Unity. In this video I want to go through our camera setup, a bit of camera theory, uh, so we can continue with our first person game. So in our in the next video I'm going to show you how to set up a multi-camera setup for our game. So we're going to use two cameras in the game simultaneously. So you might be wondering why this is and to show you guys, uh, let's, let's revert back to a one camera setup, the one we've got right now. In a first person game you might want to get the gun and drag the gun on top of the main camera or inside it so it's the main, it's parented and now every on every frame when we update the camera's position the gun's going to follow it. And just to prove my point, let's play the game. Boom. And this looks okay. The the gun's at kind of a good position of a for a first person game. It looks like we can do our animations and stuff, but the major problem is that if we get near to an object, there'll be an intersection because it's there we go. So because the gun's got depth, it's in 3D space, it's gonna it's gonna intersect the geometry. Even if we run up to this hill will probably go in. So if you play first person games you'll realize that no matter how straight an object is on a brick wall or something you'll never run into it and you'll never the gun will never intersect on this so the way they set it up guys is they put the, the gun and all the animations of the, your arm and the gun and stuff on a, in a different camera and put the camera on a different depth so then the camera the second camera is going to overwrite like the first camera and simultaneously so to do this we need to understand a bit of theory let's go to our main camera so I want to talk about the culling mask and the clear flags now for the clear flags the default value is a skybox so on every frame it, everything's cleared and the skybox uh, is displayed outside of our depth basically our camera depth so the near clip plane 0 0.3 to 1000 after 1000 the skybox is displayed okay if we move on to a solid color instead of the skybox a just a basic solid color will be displayed if you want to do that I'd never use that it looks really boring so the next one's depth only so if we go to depth only only our 3D models or anything that has depth in our scene or within the camera is updated um, outside of this nothing is updated from the previous frame or nothing is cleared so in the next frame they're just like stamped on top of it basically again not very useful in this case in the second camera we'll be, re we'll be creating in the next video I'll be using depth only but I'll also edit the culling masks so all we can see is our model of our gun and the clips flying out and stuff like that in the arm um, and the last value don't clear so nothing is cleared not even our geometry or nothing within the camera so nothing's cleared every frame is just overwritten on top of the previous one Alright guys, not very useful stuff, but that is an option Unity gives you if you want. So that's it guys, Never, if you're creating a first person game, never put the gun on the same camera as the, uh, the world itself, because stuff like this will happen. I mean you might want to put a collider on it so it never, you never get that far up to an object, but you know, it just causes problems. So in the next video I'll be creating the second camera. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.